Hello friends, myself Amar. Now in this video, I will discuss about toggle switch in prime phases. Okay, and for that, what I have done, I have created a project named as toggle switch. Inside that, I have a page index.xhtml, and inside the ribbles code package, I have created a managed bin named as toggle switch bin. Okay. Now inside the index.xhtml, I have used the corresponding prime faces and GSF tag library. Inside the head tag, I have given the title as toggle switch. Inside the head, I have used a style tag, and inside the style tag, I have used some CSS styles to change the color of the toggle switch. Okay. If I run this project, and you can go to the output, then you can see. By default, this color is this. If I refresh this page, by default, this color is gray. And if I click on submit, then it will display the message as unchecked. But if I check this, if I toggle the switch, then the color changes to green. And if I click on submit, then it displays checked. Now this toggling of switch and this color change, I have written inside the style tag. Means whenever I am changing the state of the switch, then the color changes is happening because of the code which I have written inside the style tag. Okay. Now let me show you here what I have done. Inside the body tag, I have a form. Inside the form, I have taken a ground having the ID as MSG. Then I have taken a panel grid having the number of column as two. I have given a style. And I have given a cell padding. Okay. After that, I have taken output text and the value I have given as toggle switch. That's why the toggle switch label is displayed here, right? After that, I have used the toggle switch component of prime phases. Okay. And in the value, I have specified TSB dot status. Now you can guess that this TSB is nothing but the name of the managed bin, and status is nothing but the property of the managed bin. And this is the managed bin. Let me show you toggle switch bin. Here I have created the class named as this. I have annotated it with managed bin annotation. I have given the name as TSB. Here I have created a boolean property named as the status. And after that there is a getter and setter. Okay. After that here I have created a add message method. Inside this add message method, I am checking if the status is if the status is true then summary will contain the value checked and if the status is false then summary will contain the message as unchecked and after that i am displaying the value of this summary by using the faces context okay after that inside the index.xhtml i have a button as you can see this is the button having the value as submit what it will do it will update msg msg is nothing but the id of the ground and in the action i have written tsb dot add message this means whenever i will hit on the button it will call the add message method of the managed bin and it will update the ground and as you can see in the method what i am doing in the add message method i am displaying the value of this summary either checked and or unchecked okay and so is the output coming here if it is checked then it will display checked in the ground if it is unchecked and if i hit it here then it will display unchecked now let me show you the style to change the toggle switch color for on and off this is the code which i have written in the style section you can see here these are normal css tags nothing to explain here if you know css then you can understand this right this is the entire code for index.xhtml as you can see and this is the code for the managed bin so i hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much